Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, Graphic Design and Art channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Also check out my Instagram, also check out my Patreon, also Venmo. Everything's linked below all the time. But if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm a Graphic Design and Art channel. Wow, okay, I really just jumped into that. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to be sharing my introduction, kind of basics to learning Adobe Illustrator. So a lot of you guys know that I'm not a tutorial-based channel usually, but a lot of you come to me for graphic design advice and help and everything so I figured why not just lay it out some illustrator tips I just did this with Photoshop not too long ago so if you want to see that check it out it's kind of like the first few things you'd need to know if you're like using Photoshop and this is gonna be that for Illustrator. As designers, we pretty much use the Adobe programs all the time and I just figured, you know, why not lay it out to you in a very easy to handle kind of way because, you know, people explain things in a really complicated way and I'm not here to do that for you. I'm here to be relatable, help you out, so let's do it. So Adobe Illustrator can be kind of intimidating to get started in because you can think, oh, well, I use Photoshop for everything or I don't know where to begin in Illustrator. What's the point of using it? Like, is it just for like actually illustrating? It's very broad. It covers a lot of things, but that's really the beauty of it. It's actually probably my favorite program to work in, which before it was my least favorite, but now it's my lifesaver. So when you're opening up Illustrator, you will open a new file. And I usually work in some sort of artboard that's like 1080 by 1080 pixels, just because it's so easy to get started. And then you can just like, you know, take a logo or something you're making and put it into a new file later once it's finalized, but this is where I start generally to get creating. So let me just share with you a few simple things to get you started. So the first thing that you can do to get started in Illustrator is using shapes. So there are obviously the square tool, the circle tool, just these simple shapes, and then there's also the live shape tool. So what you can do with that is you can create shapes and draw them in. It'll make triangles for you if you just draw it out. And then also you can layer these shapes to combine to create new things and new forms depending on what you're making. If you're trying to build an object, if you're trying to make a logo, just if you're trying to do something new. So it's easy to figure out, create new shapes, things like that. Like I said, Illustrator is very broad and does a lot, has a lot of capabilities, but it is so easy once you break it down into the things that you actually need to do on there because you can find that everything you need to get done is right there in one place. I build all my logos in Illustrator because that is the place to start. Okay, so the next thing that I think you really should know if you're getting started in Illustrator is the pen tool. So if you've never used the pen tool before, or if you have even used it on Photoshop, it is way better on Illustrator, um, but it's also very easy to use if you've never used it before. So what you need to do to use the pen tool, you can hit P as a keyboard shortcut, or you can click into the pen. And then from there, all you have to do is click and it will create points by points. Those are anchor points. And then from there, you can edit them once you create something with those anchor points. So while you're creating something with the pen tool, those anchor points, if you click and hold, they will create a curve. And if you click and then click to the next one, that will be like more of a straight or like what am I saying? Right angles, <laughs> like hard angles. So it's a lot of trial and error with the pen tool, but that's actually the beauty of it. It's so easy to edit and you can always go back and click into things and just kind of pull at anchor points and see what you need to fix. And then um, my secret weapon is that curve tool. Let me show you. <laughs> if you have a curve that you're not liking, you can actually fix that with that curve tool. It just makes it so much easier to start perfecting shapes from there. So the pen tool definitely has a learning curve, but it is so easy to use once you get into it because you can always change things, tweak things, whatever you need to do. And that is always the tool I go back to. And I didn't think I was perfect at it for a long time, but I have since learned so many tips in like the tweaking process that has changed the game for me. Now, building off of the pen tool, I guess pun intended, but literally building off of the pen tool is if you have different shapes that you're working with, like say you made a few different shapes, whether that be a circle with the circle tool or a whole creative shape with the pen tool. My favorite thing to do is pathfinding, which creates new shapes from those shapes, which um, this might sound a little complicated, but trust me, it's not. So if you had something that was maybe layered on top of each other and you wanted to combine them to make one shape, all you have to do is hit that combine unite button on the pathfinding section and that will put it into one 
whole shape like it'll be one thing you can make it one color it will create your shape so then from there it is one thing pathfinding is really easy to use and again it's more of like that trial and error play with it see what it does because there is like minusing the front which is like say you had a circle and you put a smaller circle in front of if you put minus the front that'll make the circle in the front disappear so it'll make your thing into maybe an O maybe you're trying to make a letter but it will remove that section and then you'll have what is behind it that was actually showing so there's so much to do with that and pathfinding really really helps me in building things okay I hope that made sense I hope you're still with me I think you are if you run out of workspace you can also create new artboards in one file where you can keep working and keep changing things so all you have to do is hit edit artboards hit the new button and then exit from there and there'll be more so it's a very easy workable space and let me tell you a big thing in illustrator is actually typography and this sounds a little weird you wouldn't think that adobe illustrator would be the place to work in typography definitely indesign is a bigger place where you're gonna work in like maybe paragraph editorial layout for print that type of typography so that that's great still i still find that like to be the best place to work on that but if you are making something, say for a logo or something like that, just that type display kind of look or something that has to be really unique, Illustrator is the place to go to work in your typography. It's just very easy to, you know, use the type tool, type out what you need, resize it, change your fonts, and then kind of change the whole look of it. If you want to curve it, if you want to put it on a curve, you can. If you want to you know make it so it's all warped and crazy looking you can do that um i'm not going to go into like very specific type things that you can do on an illustrator there's so many tutorials out there on like very specific like text effects and things like that that you can do in illustrator and it's it's a whole world out there trust me but illustrator is a big place for that like i use that a lot in my logo design so i'm not just building these shapes or illustrating or creating like images symbols i'm also creating a lot of type-based logos and that is the main place i'm still working because it is so easy to just change things change spacing change sizing and even create your own custom lettering in illustrator if you'd like to know more about custom lettering let me know because i want to do a video maybe on showing what i've been working on lately and how i was building letters and then also how like to build letters yourself i also have some videos on that if you want to check out about like making typography with illustrator um but i am actually doing like more stuff now that is a little more advanced so let me know if you want to see it so let me know if you want to see a little bit more of me actually working in illustrator i do it a lot in like all my videos but if you want more of an in-depth explanation of like what i'm doing as i'm doing it i could definitely do a video like that I don't know let me know what type of video you want okay i hope this was helpful for you if it was please give it a like it really really helps my channel and also let me know in the comments below like i said what you want to see me do more of um if you want more of these tutorial based things more program tutorials stuff like that let me know okay i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching um yeah okay see you later bye I have no privacy in this house because everyone's always loud. Oh my god, I made a song. Wait, I'm a musical genius.